What's up, fam bam? This is Gabe Hostetler from Los Angeles, California. And Tola Morocco from South Africa. And you're watching I Said Bye. <laughs> points and I owe y'all a pizza party Monday. Yeah! Yeah! Get a breakdown, get stuff, let's get on the bus. Oh. Oh. So this is a big week. Marcus had a fantastic game last week 
and he absolutely balled out. He had two picks, played well on offense, played well on defense, blocked well, did everything right. And I think the coolest thing about having Marcus move out here with us to see his progression and his progress, how hard he's been working for it to pay off on the field. I remember just in the summer, Marcus was running those hills with me every day, and I was telling him and teaching him about hard work, don't quit, fight through the pain, and now it's turning into results for him. I'm extremely proud of Marcus for how he's playing and the effort that he's given for his teammates and his team. But if it's one thing I'm proud of of Marcus, it's his commitment to school and changing his life. Today is report card day, and Marcus has told me that he has good grades. He can check on his portal on his phone to show me his grades. But all parents know the grades aren't official until they're on the paper. And today, Marcus's grades came in the mail. And when I saw his grades, um, I was close to being in tears. To apply yourself to something that you absolutely love, like football, any kind of sport, music, it's easy to commit yourself to that and work hard for it. But when you don't absolutely love something, or if you're not really all in on something, it's hard to work at it. And it takes effort, it takes patience, it takes hard work, different than anything else that you ever do in your life. And to see Marcus do that with his schoolwork just fills my heart so much. Marcus has never had grades like this. He has, he has three A's and three B's. Unbelievable to see how good Marcus is doing in school. And it just really just warms my heart to see how hard he's working and it's gonna pay off for him. When I saw this report card and I was just sitting and thinking to myself, to any kid, to anybody, matter of fact, if you put your mind on something, you can do it. Put your mind on it and say, there's nothing that can stop me from achieving this goal. Marcus is a prime example of that with his grades, not only with football, but with his grades. I'm not putting Marcus's business out there, but I'm telling you his poor cards prior to this were really bad, but he's doing everything that he's putting his mind on. All I'm doing is putting him through the work and teaching him. At the end of the day, when I teach him, he has to apply those things to his life. And he's doing it. And it's going to pay off for him. So I'm just extremely proud of him. There was a moment in the game uh, when Marcus got his pick six when I was running to go celebrate with him. I saw how happy he was because that's the best feeling in the world is when you work so hard for something and it pays off. And just to see the smile and the joy on his face, because before that game, he was telling me CJ. My nickname is CJ, if you guys didn't know, for Cedric Jr. <laughs> but he was like, CJ, before the game, I'm gonna score. I have to score. And the craziest thing was Marcus's friend was killed. And the day of the game last week was the anniversary of his death. And Marcus told me, I'm doing this for Betho. I'm going out there and I'm playing for Betho. And he had two picks, blocked well, and played phenomenal. And Everything is just coming full circle for Marcus and I'm so happy for him. Now the next step with his grades is we're gonna have to take an ACT, SAT to get him ready for college. But now that his grades are up, we can start taking college visits. And I took him to his first official college visit after that game and he absolutely loved it. So he has a few colleges looking at him. He just has to keep working hard, keep doing good with his grades, keep balling on the field, and all his dreams will come true. And this is true for anybody, man. I'm a prime living example of it, and Marcus is molding into being that example. Work your butt off. Trust the process and believe that God has you where you are for a reason. I have these things on my wall up here um, that I'll write down these quotes that I continuously look at all the time. And one of them is, being who God has called you to be will take everything you got. And working hard in your relationships, working hard in school, working hard at your job, 
being loving in all those aspects and anything in your life, it will come true. So between Marcus's touchdowns, his good play and his grades, I'm just an emotional wreck right now. So yeah, so we got a big game next week. They play uh, a team that's good and we're gonna see how we can coach him up and try to get that W next week.